Hello. In this review, we'll be talking about the Russian air defense missile system 3M47 Gibka, also known as the shipborne turret mounted Gibka system. Additionally, I'll cover the self propelled air defense system Gibka S. I'll explain the purposes for which this complex was developed, its overall capabilities, and why the self propelled version was created after the shipborne system. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click like, it helps make our content even better. Let's burn! The history of the 3M47 Gibka complex began in Russia in the late 1990s, a challenging period for investing in the development of new air defense systems. The economic turmoil of the 1990s, funding shortages for projects inherited from the USSR, and other systemic issues made it difficult to prioritize large-scale military innovations. However, there was a clear need for a short-range shipborne air defense missile system that could be installed on small displacement warships and patrol boats. The goal was to develop a system capable of engaging aircraft, helicopters, and anti-ship missiles. Larger, more complex air defense systems like the TOR were unsuitable for such vessels due to their size and weight. Instead, these smaller ships often relied on manned portable air defense systems, such as the Strela or Igla. However, these manpads had significant limitations. They required operators to manually aim and fire, which took time. Human error was an issue, especially in adverse weather or rough seas, making it harder to aim accurately and hit targets. Russia sought to create a lightweight turret system that could utilize shipborne radar systems to detect and track targets, minimize human involvement, and reduce the impact of weather and sea conditions on targeting accuracy. In 1999, work began on the project that would later be named Gibka. The development of the system was led by two primary organizations, Altair Naval Research Institute for Radio Electronics and the RATEP Radio Engineering Enterprise in Serpikov. To keep costs low and ensure the project didn't take too long, the decision was made to build a turret with launchers and control equipment using existing technology, namely, the IGLA manpads. There was no need to develop new missiles from scratch, as the IGLA was already in production and widely used. It's important to note two key points. The demand for this system was not just for the Russian Navy but also for export to other countries producing small ships and boats. Funding was limited, with only a small budget allocated to the project. As a result, the development team maximized the use of components already produced by Altair, RATEP, or other enterprises participating in the project. Since the bulk of the funding came from the developers themselves, they worked in parallel, effectively creating two systems, with many shared components. This dual approach allowed them to adapt the system to multiple use cases and continue the project despite financial constraints. By 2001, the first prototypes of the Gibka system were completed and sent for testing, which lasted until 2002. During these trials, the system demonstrated its ability to fire in rough sea conditions, its integration with shipborne radar for target detection and tracking, and its capability to engage a single target with two missiles simultaneously. However, the system required further refinements. These improvements were carried out simultaneously by the two developing companies, Altair and RATEP, resulting in two separate versions of the Gibka system by the end of 2004. Both versions were publicly showcased together for the first time at an exhibition in 2005. While the two systems had similar designs, they differed in certain capabilities. The Russian Navy ultimately selected the Altair version, which was officially adopted in 2006. RATEP continued to develop its version, eventually creating a new air defense system based on its Gibka prototype. Today, both Altair and RATEP are part of the Almaz Anti-Concern, one of Russia's largest defense enterprises. The Gibka system was initially installed on the small artillery ship Astrakhan and later deployed on the Volgodonsk, the large anti-submarine ship Vice Admiral Kulikov, and several other ships and patrol boats. Equipped with the Strelitz control and launch modules, which can house two to four launch modules. Each module is capable of carrying two Igla Manpads missiles, allowing a single turret to host up to eight missiles. The system supports both the standard IGLA and the enhanced IGLA-S variants. The Gibka can also be equipped with two to four Ataka ATGMs for versatility. Includes a mounting and rotating device and an opto-electronic receiving system for target tracking. The system is integrated with the ship's radar, which provides target detection and guidance. Later models were upgraded with a target approach warning system, alerting operators when a threat enters the engagement sector. 
The Gibka system, with its modular design and use of existing missile technologies, proved to be a cost-effective and practical solution for equipping small and medium-sized naval vessels. Its adaptability and integration with shipborne radar allowed it to effectively minimize the human factor while providing reliable short-range air defense. The Gibka turret system weighs between 1,000 kg and 1,300 kg, depending on its configuration. When equipped with the IGLA S manpads, it can engage aerial targets flying at a maximum altitude of 3.5 km and at a range of up to 6 km. The system can simultaneously target one object, with the ability to fire two missiles at the same target, provided the missiles are launched from different modules. The turret allows vertical targeting within a range of 0 to plus 60 degrees and horizontal targeting within plus or minus 150 degrees of the ship's forward axis. All processes, such as target detection, selection, and engagement, are managed using the ship's deck-mounted control equipment. The reaction time, from target detection to missile launch, is 8 seconds. The hit probability with a single IGLA missile is 0.6, but this increases significantly to 0.95 when two missiles are fired at the same target. In the 2010s, Russian defense experts began exploring the idea of adapting the Gibka system for use on armored vehicles, transforming it into a self-propelled short-range air defense system. This would provide ground forces with a mobile, compact solution for engaging low-altitude aerial threats. This effort led to the development of the Gibka S variant. The development of the Gibka S system took significant time from inception to adoption. The first version was showcased in 2016 at a defense exhibition. For this version, the same Strelitz control and launch module from the naval variant was used but the number of launch modules was reduced to two, allowing the system to carry up to four missiles at a time. Several enterprises, mostly part of the Rostec Corporation, contributed to the project. By 2020, it was announced that the Gibka S had successfully completed all state trials. However, it wasn't officially adopted until 2022, with deliveries to the Russian army beginning that same year. The Gibka S is mounted on the Tigger armored vehicle and retains many of the principles of the naval version, adapted for ground mobility. Here's a breakdown of its features. Equipped with the Strelitz control and launch system mounted on the vehicle's roof. Can carry and use IGLA, IGLA S, or Verba manpads. Features four launch containers for ready to use missiles, with space to carry an additional four missiles inside the vehicle. Operated by a crew of four, driver, commander, and two weapon operators. Maximum target range, 6 km. Maximum target altitude, 3.5 km. Can engage targets traveling at speeds of up to 400 meters per second on head-on courses and 320 meters per second on tailing courses. Rate of fire is up to 4 missiles per minute. The system allows the simultaneous firing of two missiles at a single target from separate modules. After firing all four missiles, the system must be manually reloaded by the operators, capable of firing while on the move at speeds of up to 30 km per hour. The Tigger armored vehicle has a top speed of 140 km per hour with the system installed. The Gibka S system also includes a platoon commander's reconnaissance and command vehicle, equipped with the Harmony radar system, 1L122. This vehicle is also based on the Tigger armored chassis and has a crew of three, driver, commander, and operator. The Harmony Radar is a compact, three-dimensional radar system available in three variants, portable version 1L122E1. Detection range is up to 40 km. Maximum altitude of detected targets is up to 10 km. Maximum target speed, 700 meters per second. Power consumption, 800W8 is approximately 150 kg. This version is typically used on the Gibka S command vehicle. Self-propelled version 1L122E2, mounted on a vehicle with a telescoping mast, allowing the radar antenna to be elevated for improved detection capabilities. Detection range is up to 80 km. Maximum altitude of detected targets, 20 km. Weight, 900 kg. Upgraded version Harmony M, an upgraded version adopted in 2024, enhancing the portable radar's performance. Detection range is up to 45 km. Target data is displayed on an LCD control console. This version, like the 1L122E1, is used in the Gibka S system. When the Harmony radar detects a target, it transmits the data to the combat vehicle of the Gibka S system. Most processes are automated, minimizing human involvement. 
Once the target is identified and locked, one or two missiles can be launched. The command vehicle can coordinate with up to six Gibka-S combat vehicles and maintain a distance of up to 8 kilometers between the command and combat units. This coordination is specifically designed to provide air defense coverage for mechanized units on the move, making it highly effective in modern warfare, especially against drones and low-flying targets. A single Gibka-S combat vehicle, equipped with its launcher modules and based on the Tigger chassis, costs approximately $400,000, excluding the Igla or Verba missile containers, which are sold separately. Although the system is more expensive than using standalone manpads, its additional automation, mobility, and improved targeting capabilities justify the price, especially in current battlefield scenarios. As of the time of this review, only a limited number of Gibka-S systems have been produced, and none have been exported. However, the system has demonstrated potential in combat operations during the Russia-Ukraine conflict, where it showcased its effectiveness. Systems that prove themselves in real combat, as opposed to just field tests, tend to command higher demand and market value. That was the story of the Gibka-S air defense missile system. Its versatility, modern features, and ability to engage a variety of aerial threats make it a relevant solution for short-range air defense in the modern battlefield. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click like. That's all for now. Wishing you peaceful skies. Bye.